it will that the uh -huh, yes. Hey! <laughs> Put in that water. <laughs> Why are you following me? And the tea is about. We're about to take tea. So, guys, I'm still spending a day with uh, miss kinga and she is peeling for me matoke we are going to, she is preparing for me ugandan food something that she has already always wanted yeah. and now she is having the opportunity to do it yeah. so she is uh, <laughs> cooking matoke for us today oh yeah guys there we go i'm gonna show you how we do it mm -hmm. yeah uh, in, okay i'm gonna show you how we do it in kenya in Kenya and also in Uganda and yeah. guys we have here we are smoking some fish here it is smoked eh. You're playing my thingy when you're playing video. On um, do no uh, I just realized that. <laughs> I was posing. What about the white thing? Mm. The, the banana leaves for here they are always like this and the ones they sell eh, huh? they are not like this they are clean mm, they are always clean they, as they are even going to sell them they don't wash them it is you to reach home and wash some
guys this one it is a weaved basket we always use it to be preparing the matoke sometimes when i prepare matoke when it is not here we always improvise but this is it's this is its use most of the times it can carry other things from the garden but mostly we use this as a weaved basket for preparing the matoke so let's go so these are banana fibers i need to wash them i wash them first They need to be soft. That's why we wash them first. Because when they are hard, when they are hard, like strong, they don't bring, they break fast. Eh? They break so easy. Now we are putting the banana fibers. First of all, we put the banana fibers down. And guys, the reason that's why I'm kneeling down is this is another way of respecting food in my local in my local culture in my local culture we respect food like this the banana fibers we put them in here like this i always have to get a strong one not every banana fiber you use we only use the strong ones The reason as why I brought so many is to sort, like to be able to sort out. Because when you when you bring the one that is not strong, you will have to go back to the garden to fetch another one that is strong. If you do if you want to save time for yourself, all you have to do is to bring so many so that you can sort them from this way. We are done with the step one, step putting in the banana leaves. Now step two is to to put in the banana leaves in the in the in the in the in the, in the weaved basket. The reason as to why I have put that is because uh, it's because uh, when we put one the food might fall down so we put two for the food to be strong let's go now the next step is to put in our food our matoke it has these green things that has fallen in this tree here is this tree here is producing too much <laughs> Mm. So now guys, we are done putting in our matoke. Now, the next step is to cut this into small, small, smaller pieces like this. And these things are called wuwo. If there are many, they are called wuwo. If it is one, it's called kawuwo. This one has a white thing. Now these ones, the reason as why we put in these ones is to keep the matoke warm. Just for it to be so warm. Now you cover it like this. Make sure it is strongly covered. You need to use your energy. Mm. 
Now, the next thing is to correct the banana fibers one by one. Putting them together like this. You need, you make sure you follow their line because if you don't, you might miss and hold another banana fiber instead of holding another one. Next, you can you cover it like this. Oh, this one has this one is not strong. Mm -hmm. done so this is our matoke done preparing them like this now the next thing is to put them in to put the matoke in the in the saucepan i'm going to be preparing the saucepan let's go so now guys you remember our stem banana stems these ones we need to put them down in the saucepan like this to prevent water from going straight into the food like uh, to be precise this food is steamed we steam it so now we are putting these our bananas our banana stems like this uh, now as you can see water is going to be down and food is going to be up and at the same time you don't need to to make it too much up you need to make it a little bit down eh? now you put in our matoke now next is to put in some water by the way guys this food mostly if you get if you get married you need to always cook this for your husband on a daily basis if you're in uganda if you get married if you get married to a ugandan man a ugandan man specifically from buganda central uganda you need to be cooking this for him on a daily basis yes you so in short you go through the same process on a daily basis at the end of the that day you get used to it because our mothers they did this at the end of the day you get used to it so it doesn't bother you again Now these ones, if they are two like this, you put them together like this and then cover. Okay, now we are done with our matoke. The next step is to put it on the fire. Come and see our binyewa or ground nuts, whichever way you might call them. Now we need to put the onion, the one that I kept waiting. We need to put the onion. You see, this is our binyewa. Mm -hmm. You were asking. Binyewa. <laughs> yeah, you're going to taste it for the first time. It's nice. Okay. Yeah. We're going to cook it like that. 
So I'm cutting the onion, putting in some. Guys, don't mind about my nails. It's because of the matoke. I wouldn't want you to come for me and be like, how can a beautiful girl has that, get to have that dirty nails like that. I am in a village and it is because of the matoke. I'm from peeling them. When you peel them, it's sap, they make black. But when you wash them, they go off. So guys, we are putting on the matoke on fire. This is the fire, it is ready, but it has made me suffer. It has made me suffer for it, like I have really suffered for it. It has taken so long. And our smoked fish, we have transferred it is here, and I need to cover it. No, 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 no. Don't open, we shall open from there. Eh? We shall open from there. So, our matokes are ready, guys. So, come with me. Mm -hmm. Sauce. Our sauce is ready as well. Yep, peanut sauce. My other sauce. So we have gotten done this is our matoke we are done with it impact chibo so now what i'm going to do uh this is our ground nuts this is our ground nuts stew that we are going to be eating this is how it has come out to be they were to wash my enemy no it is for this is our close our food that we have uh, we have cooked bring the this is our food. You see the matoke? Can you smash? Yeah. Do. Guys, uh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Pull this one, this one, because we know we are not we're going to need it. You're going to be the to do the smashing. No, you need to be aggressive. Yes, super aggressive. Mm -hmm. So because I know Ungalo what because it will that that a high yes. Put in the water. <laughs> Put in the water. <laughs> no, do not call me a terrorist. <laughs> you are. <laughs> ah, so I did not warn you. Hey. And, and you didn't know it was hot. No. Sorry. Huh? Yeah. Sorry. But it's okay. This is our. This is how we do our. No, not with the nails. It will come out. You need to use this only. It's so sweet. Guys, but at least you have tried. See, they become red. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, my dear. Oh, you do like ha, ha, ha. Yeah, you don't need to use the this. If you use that, they come out. Yeah, they keep coming out. Wow. Guys, have you seen that? We are smashing the matoke. And I think they are ready now. Yeah, they are now ready. Yeah. Woo! Now, we open them. We are going to be testing. Banamwe. Banamwe. One thing I realized about the matoke is that they don't add salt. You stop slanting. One thing I've realized about the matoke is that they don't add salt. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You do not add salt. Mm -hmm. This is it. This is the result. Ooh, you guys. This is the result that we have. Bring one of the chicken. Mugende. Mugende mzanyere di kari. Mugende mzanyere. 
Aha, mgenem zanyireli. Eyo. Aha, nakatawe mkatuale nenda gala. Mujie kwa kamera yangu. So guys, this is our matoke that we have come up with. Now, guys. Yes. This is the banana leaf. So, are you ready? Yes. Ooh. You have been hungry for a long time. Hungry and waiting for Ugandan meal. So guys, this is our matoke. This is how it looks like. Yeah. Half. And then let me yeah, also get mine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Let me also eat some small. And guys, this one is for the rest of the people at home. Yeah. It so you can rest. take them back here. Yeah, I'm going to be putting it back here and keep it warm because for them they are going to be eating later. Mm -hmm. It's to keep it warm. Yeah. The the reason as why we put we put the banana leaves is to keep the food warm. Yeah. Super warm. It always has to be traditional warm. microwave. <laughs> yeah, this is a traditional microwave. Yeah. This one is called vinyewa. This one is called vinyewa. And uh, in English, it is ground nuts. Some people call it peanut butter, but this is not peanut butter. It is, it is That's ground nuts. The one that is just smashed. Smashed ground nuts. Now this one is soup. For the rest of the people at home to eat later. Mm. Mm. Hey! Hey! <laughs> How does it taste? Wait! Mm. Heavenly, guys! Mm. Wow! <laughs> the food is the best. Mm. And so yeah. mm. And guess what? There is no oil. Yeah, no oil. And actually, the, the, the groundnuts have pro, uh, has produced some oil. oil. But there is no, no artificial oil. oil. Yeah, this one is natural oil. Wow. Mm -hmm. mm. Wait. Mm. This is the best. Yeah. That food is sweet. Mm. Mm. So guys, uh, that is it for today. How have you found the food? You guys you have no idea this dish is oh. It is the best. This food is delicious. It's the best. Like I've never tasted this. Like this is what it's yeah. your first time eating that yeah i've never the groundnuts no groundnuts we eat groundnuts but not but this the sauce. smashed soup the sauce mm -hmm. i've never tasted i'll be lying Whoa. guys if you are there you need to try this soup yeah, it is it's really so, so nice wow. so mm. nice thank you um, wow. anyway guys Miss Fingers, thank yes. you so much for visiting. You're welcome, and thank you too for hosting me. Thank you for mm -hmm. preparing this uh, delicious meal for mm -hmm. me. Sure, for sure, when I go back to Kenya, I'm gonna try this. But now, where will am I going to get some leaves? Banana leaves. Banana. No, this one we have not used banana leaves. Maybe the banana leaves, but, but the banana. Mm -mm, maybe the, the but uh, if the, the these ones, uh, the matoke, the matoke like ha huh, matoke is hard, guys. But anyway, mm -hmm. you can do that. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. See you again in the next video. Mm -hmm. I love you all. I stay now long. I love you more. She stays Miss Kinga. Miss Kinga, guys. Please See you get again. into my channel. Subscribe. <laughs> yes. Subscribe. 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 Thank you. Thank you.